tear gas and scuffles as thousands fought with police in central Baghdad. It soon got worse as security forces tried to disperse the crowd. Several people are reported dead and hundreds wounded. Some said police used live ammunition. The march started rather orderly but loud early on in the day. Yes, yes to reform. Leave, leave, oh corrupt leader, chanted protesters, mostly followers of the Iraqi Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr, who instructed them to march to Baghdad, seat of power in the highly fortified green zone. In a statement read to the crowd by one of his aides, Sadr asked the government to replace the leadership and laws of the Supreme Electoral Commission. His movement says the commission has been unprofessional and conducive to sectarian divisions since its inception in 2007. Free brothers and sisters, if you wish to march to the gates of the Green Zone to make those within its walls hear your demand to change the commission and its laws, you're allowed to do so. You can remain there until sunset, but never go inside the Green Zone today. Some are even demanding the resignation of the government. Our demand is that this government must be changed and replaced with real nationalist people in order to build the real Iraq. Stop fake elections, which bring these type of faces every four years. Where are the nationalist people? Other political leaders, including the Vice President Yad Alawi, accused the Electoral Commission of vote rigging during the previous election. The timing of these protests is likely to further complicate Iraq's already tense security and political situation. The country is preparing for new parliamentary elections, despite the continuing threat from armed groups and sectarian divisions. Some of the Sunni political parties want to postpone the elections because of the state of unrest and large-scale civilian displacement in Sunni areas affected by conflict with ISIL, including places like Mosul. Iraq is also facing its worst economic crisis in years. The Electoral Commission itself has already demanded the postponement of the election, which is scheduled for April next year, citing financial difficulties. But for now, Iraq seems far from being prepared for any election. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.